Martinsville. A little short paperclip. Half mile paperclip. So it's not really a short paperclip, but for a NASCAR track, it's short. So we're just going to go with that. But that is Sunday at 2 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Central, 11 o'clock Pacific, and 12%, 12%, 12 percent, 12 percent, 12 o'clock Mountain. Yeah, there's your time zones in the U.S. So we got Martinsville. Martinsville, 500 laps. I don't know how many miles that is. I don't want to do the math either, but we're going to talk about it. So the race is on Sunday, and it's Wednesday. Quick update. We're doing this today. Tomorrow I'll put out, tomorrow afternoon I'll put out the video about I was talking about the Logano, oh, well, it's going to be spoiled anyway, the Logano video, Joey Logano heartbreaker video. That will be put out tomorrow, but it will not be released till Sunday or not Sunday, Saturday afternoon around, I don't know, 1 o'clock uh, Central Central or Eastern, I don't know. But I'm still figuring that out, what I'm going to do at time. I'll make a decision tomorrow. I'll put it on Twitter so you can go to Twitter and find that. But, yeah, we're here to talk about Martinsville on Sunday. Going back to the 2018 rules package, I'm pretty sure, um, because if you put a bunch of restrictions on the cars at Martinsville, I don't think it would work, but it's whatever. So back to that, um, the two most recent winners, Joey Logano and Clint Boyer. Joey Logano won in the fall last year after a late pass on Martin Truex Jr. And in the spring, it got snowed out actually to Monday, and then Boyer won. So those are your last two winners last year. Uh, winners in the field, you got Kurt Busch, Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, Denny Hamlin, uh, Clint Boyer, Clint Boyer, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Jimmy Johnson. I might have missed one in there, but those are some of your winners in the past. Uh, Johnson obviously has what nine Martinsville wins. Uh, Kyle Busch has two, I think, two or three. Uh, Logano has one. Boyer has one. Hamlin has a few, and then everyone else basically won. So yeah, those those are your past winners at this track. So what what are we expecting at Martinsville? What could happen? What couldn't happen? A lot can happen at Martinsville. It's a very, as I said, short track, very tight conditions. There's only one real line, the inside line, because of how sharp the turn is. You have to stay on the bottom to get any type of speed going out of the corner. And um, so that means everyone's going to be fighting for the bottom. Uh, you'll see in Saturday's video a lot of it, but you're if you just go back and watch Martinsville highlights, um, guys trying to get to the bottom of the track. It's so important because if you're stuck on the top, they're going to freight train you, stay on the inside, not let you get in, um, and it can be really bad. Now, a couple a couple years ago, over the past couple years, the it's not like a groove that you want to run, but people have stuck the outside a little bit better. They don't get freight trained. They're able to hold their line for a little bit, but it's still difficult to pass from the outside. So the inside is very important. It's much preferred, and uh, guys really – they need to get there. Um, tire wear, it's not terrible. I mean, you don't have guys cutting tires a bunch. I mean, if you make contact, obviously, and this is this is another thing, you're going to make a lot of contact at Martinsville. Uh, small track, not a lot of space. Three wide, not going to work. Uh, going into corners, hard braking, sharp turns, it's not going to work that well. So if your right side of your door is jacked up, it means you've been passing people. The left side of your door is jacked up. That means you've been getting passed and you've been in the way. Um, bumpers will be used. Uh, just go back to 2017 fall race. Denny Hamlin used the bumper on Chase Elliott to go for the lead. He overshot it and dumped Chase Elliott. And then last year, look up the finish from the fall race. Joey Logano moved Martin Truex Jr. and they made some contact coming to the start finish line, almost wrecked themselves to give Denny Hamlin the win. So obviously there's a lot of contact in this race. It's a long race. It's a mental race as well. Uh, just thinking about it, you get frustrated. Tempers boil over, as we saw two years ago in the fall race with Chase Elliott and Denny Hamlin. Elliott was pissed off after the race, approached Hamlin. Um, we've seen in 2013, Greg Biffle and Jimmy Johnson had a little altercation after the race. They made some contact after the race. Uh, Biffle grabbed Johnson by the collar, pulled him aside and said, hey, what are you doing? So there have been some tensions that have boiled over. Brad Keselowski lost the hood of his car in 2014 in the spring race on a pit road incident. He was not happy. He was multiple laps down. Kurt Busch was running in the top five. He was slamming into Kurt Busch, giving him the finger, and it was a big mess. So basically, tempers boil over at Martinsville because, as I've said, small track, big tempers. So obviously, you got to watch out for that. Guys, if, if you get in someone's way, it's not going to work. 
lap cars take out leaders at Matt Kenseth. But yeah, we've seen the crazy stuff. One guy, as you saw in the thumbnail, that's been great here. Jeff Gordon, nine Martinsville wins. Jimmy Johnson, nine Martinsville wins. Um, trying to think. What else to say? I don't really know. But obviously hot coming into this race is Kyle Busch. He's on two race win streak, wins at Phoenix and wins at Auto Club. Um, 200 wins. He's fresh off of these wins. He's pretty hot coming into this race. There will be a truck race on Friday or Saturday, I believe. I can look that up right now. But uh, let me think. Those are the two hot guys. Penske's been running well all year. Uh, Logano's got to win. Keselowski's got to win. They've been running up front, leading laps. Uh, yeah, the race is on Saturday for the trucks. But obviously, Penske's been running really hot this year. Um... Let me look at the lap slide real quick. Ew, it's not showing that. That's not what I want. But anywho, they used to show that. That's a little disappointing. Hold on, I'm going to see if it shows it. Nope, not showing it. Anyways, those are the hot guys right now. Kevin Harvick's been doing well, doing good as well. He's got two stage wins. Uh, Hamlin's got a win in the bag. Kyle Busch has a win. Two wins actually. He's got a lot of. He's got a few stage wins. Let me let me see this. He's got a stage win. Um, going down to Larson has a stage win this year. But yeah. So obviously Martinsville, a track that suits very well to some people. Some people they just hate it. Larson, he's not especially good at this track. Uh, Elliot, he's improved as he's gone on at this track. Um, but there's some guys that are just good at this track, and then there's some guys that just aren't good at this track. Another guy that's been running well at Martinsville recently is Martin Truex Jr. You're going to hear this about a million times on Sunday, but he's never won in a short track. What's What do you think? In the comments, I want you to tell me, what will be the over-under for how many times they say Martin Truex Jr. has not won in a short track? I want to know, and I want to see if they can do that math. Anyways, back to the subject. We're just going to get into it. So, who am I going to pick to win? You know, there have been Kyle Busch. Everyone's expecting him to win. You go for three in a row just to troll fans, basically. Penske guys, they've been hot all year. Will Blaney get his first one of the year? He ran pretty well here last year. Um, Keselowski's won here before. Can he get his second grandfather clock? Can Logano get his second grandfather clock and win back-to-back -back Martinsville race as well? Here's my pick. This guy, he ended up leaving heartbroken in the fall last year, and he said... He may have won the battle, but he's not going to end the war. That guy ended up winning the war. That was awkward. But Truex, Martin Truex Jr., they're finally going to shut up about saying Truex has never won in a short track. I think I said this in my season preview. You can check on that later. I'll put it up here. But I got Martin Truex Jr. winning at Martinsville and finally shutting up everyone about that he's never won in a short track. So, yeah, I got Martin Truex Jr. as my race pick for the winner. Put in the comments who you think is going to win, who's going to run well, who's going to not run well. And if there's any big incidents, we'll talk about it Sunday or Monday. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, Saturday will be that Heartbreakers, Joey Logano, Martinsville. Uh, up here, my season preview. Yeah, season preview right here. That's where I probably talked about Martin Truex Jr. And then here, whatever I put up here, I'll think about it. But, yeah. Subscribe, face, click, yep, yeah, out.